Edexcel A-Level Maths Statistics Summer 2019, Question 4. Magali is studying the mean total cloud cover in octas for Lucas in 1987 using data from the large data set. The daily mean total cloud cover for all 184 days from the large data set is summarised in the table below. One of the 184 days is selected at random. We need to find the probability that it has a daily mean total cloud cover of six or greater. So looking at our table, we've got days with six, seven or eight. So we need to add them together. So 52, add 52, add 28, all over the total number of days, which is 184, to give us an answer of 132 over 184, or if you prefer it as a decimal, 0.7174. Magali is now investigating whether the daily mean total cloud cover can be modelled using a binomial distribution. She uses the random variable x to denote the daily mean total cloud cover and believes that x is modelled by a binomial distribution of size 8 and probability 0.76. Using Magali's model, for part B, we need to find the probability that x is larger than or equal to 6. So I'm just going to do this on the calculator, but using the calculator, we get probabilities of x smaller than or equal to. So we're going to convert that. The probability of x larger than or equal to 6 equals 1 minus the probability of x smaller than or equal to 5. Putting that into the calculator with our 5 that we just got from a probability, our sample size 8 and our probability of 0 0.76 gives us 0 0.296722. Taking that away from 1 gives us an answer of 0 0.7033 to four decimal places. Now for part 2, we need to find to one decimal place the expected number of days in a sample of 184 days with a daily mean total cloud cover of 7. So again, we're just going to put this into the calculator to find the probability that x equals 7 this time, which is 0 0.281188. There are 184 days, so to find the expected number of days, we're going to multiply our answer by the 184, which gives us 51.7385, or to one decimal place, 51.7. Part C, we need to explain whether or not our answers to part B support the use of Magali's model. So firstly, let's look at the probability of cloud cover of six or more. So according to the table, that was 0 0.7174. So our answer for part A. In the model for part B, we got 0 0.7033. Those two are approximately equal to each other. So that's looking good. We also need to use part two of part B, which was the expected number of days with the cloud cover of seven. Well, our model said 51.7. The table says there were 52, again, approximately equal to each other. So that suggests that Magali's model is supported. It's very important for this question that we use both of those pairings, the 0 0.7174 and the 52, to back up our answer. There were 28 days that had a daily mean total cloud cover of 8. For these 28 days, the daily mean total cloud cover for the following day is shown in the table below. Part D, we need to find the portion of these days when the daily mean total cloud cover was six or greater. So looking at our table, there were five days with a cloud cover of six, nine days with a cloud cover of seven, and another nine with a cloud cover of eight. Add them all together. This is out of the 28 days in total. So we've got 23 over 28, or 0 0.821 as a decimal. Now for part E, we need to comment on Magali's model in light of our answer to part D. Well, we've got 0.821 as our answer for part D. But the original model said 0.7033 for the probability of six or more. These are very different. So this suggests that Magali's model may not be suitable. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel or check out some more of my videos by clicking on the links here.